Hi everyone. Okay, hope that you are doing good. Okay, so in this video, so I would like to explain a question. Uh, and actually this question uh, is not specifically from the chapter quadratic function. Actually, this chapter can be explained uh, with the different session method. Understand? But I'm going to choose a quadratic function because uh, form 4 and form 5 students can learn together. If I just teach you with the different session method, uh, form 4 students can't understand. Okay? So that's why I'm going to choose a quadratic function method. Okay, class. Let us start. Let us start. Okay. Now, first, let me read the question slowly, then try to understand one by one. I will explain to you what we're going to do. Okay. A diagram below shows water rocket is launched from point A. Okay, launch, right? I hope that you understand the meaning of launch. So, so it's fly from here. So this is a launching, right? Okay, so that the arrow can help you. Okay, the height h in meter of the water rocket at the t second. That means according to any t, you will have the h. So that means the h is the height, the t is the time for the uh, our equation. Okay, the equation is already given here. So let me highlight for you the equation here. This is your equation. Okay, this is your equation. Okay, done. Okay, the equation is actually in terms of h and t. h and t. h is the height and t is the time. Okay. Uh, with the point A as a origin. O A is origin. This is the A. So A is the origin. Since I know it's origin means I can do a XC type of question like this. So I can draw an XC here. So this one I'm going to put as a T. This one is, is a T. T is a time. And this one is going to be h. h is the height. Understand? Okay, done. Okay. Uh, AB is a horizontal line. So I think this is a AB is a horizontal line. Horizontal means it's going to be the t axis, or we call it x axis, right? But x axis is a, now we're going to represent as a t. Okay. The rocket takes nine seconds to reach b. Okay, class. Sorry. Origin means is zero. Origin zero, and this is nine seconds. Understand? Okay. And then. Uh, if everybody, uh, if you all should know, right, you all should know that uh, a quadratic type of graph like this, quadratic graph like this, will have a symmetry. Symmetry is in, supposed to be in the middle like this. Okay, this is a symmetry. And this point, this point is one of the important points here. This point is actually a maximum point. Okay. And then since this is a symmetry, so the symmetry means something in the middle, right? So the, the value between 0 to 9 is 4.5 here. 4.5. Understand? So this is a 4.5. Okay, done. Okay, 4.5. Okay, so done. Huh? So this is the idea that we already managed to get and we already sketch everything that we understand. Okay, now let us start. Okay, so what I understand is this is a call X, uh, equation of symmetry. This is equation of symmetry. This part, we call it equation of symmetry. And equation of symmetry is a T, sorry, is T equals to 4.5. Okay, T is equals to 4.5. Okay, this is a T. T is equals to 4.5. Understand? So this is, we call it a, a equation of symmetry. This is called equation of symmetry. Okay, so from the, quadratic function given for us. This is a quadratic function. HT equals to negative T minus P square plus Q, right? Okay. So where you can get the equation of symmetry? So equation of symmetry is always inside the bracket, inside the bracket. Just take out the whatever value inside the bracket. There is a T minus P you equals to zero. Then when you solve it, you'll get T is equals to P. Plus, for your information, this is the equation of symmetry. But we already have the equation of symmetry here, right? So when you compare these two, right? When you compare, you can get the value of P. So what's the value of P here? P is 4.5. So your P is 4.5. That's it? 4.5. Done. Okay, this is the first information that we already managed to get. Okay, second. So I think I need to save my space here. Sorry, class. 
because later we're going to do a solution, some more solution, right? So your P is 4.5. Okay, got it. Okay, done, huh? your P is 4.5. Okay, your next step. So I'm going to get the value of the P here. Okay, how to get the value of P? I'm going to use this value given for us here. There's a, one extra value given for here. Okay, look at this one. Okay, this value is, what value you know? This one is a T is 9. T is 9 and the H is 0, right? So this is a T value and this is a H value, right? So we're going to use these two value to substitute inside this equation and then we're going to get the value of the Q now. Okay, let us do it. Okay, let us try. Okay. So I, I already have uh, what you call T is 9 and your H is 0. So I'm going to substitute class. So I'm going to use this equation here. So I already write the equation. I'm going to substitute everything class. The H here is going to be zero, right? The H going to be zero. The T going to be nine. And your P is 4.5. The P is here, right? P is already here. So if you use calculator, you, substitute, uh, you use calculator to solve this with the calculator is 20.25. Negative, right? Negative. Okay, done. So we already managed to get the value of Q. Sorry, class. Okay, done. So we already have the P, we already have the Q. So now I'm going to rewrite the whole thing again. H. Negative T. Your P is 4.5. And your Q is uh, 20.25. Right. Okay. Now, if you ask me, right, if you ask me a question, very simple, right? For 4.5, okay. So hope that everybody should understand this question. Actually, no need to write also, you should understand. Okay. If you read this one, okay, this is actually a completing a square. This is a completing a square, right? This is a completing a square. Okay. So from here, inside here, you'll get the axiosmetry or we call it a corresponding value of x or t right this is a t so t is 4.5 inside here and here is the maximum or minimum value since the graph is uh, in this shape the that means this is a maximum value this one we call it my maximum value understand this is your maximum value so what's the question asked the maximum height so this is your answer already so your maximum height will be So your maximum height going to be uh, 20.25. 20.25 meter. So this is your answer class. Actually, you can stop here also, can, no problem. But I just want to explain to you. I explain to you all what is this. Okay, class, understand, huh? the, last, the last alphabet here, the last value here is represent maximum or minimum value. Okay, so this is a maximum value, maximum value. The Q is a maximum value. So once you get the Q, it's done already. Until here is enough. Understand? So your maximum height is 20.25 meter. Okay, so hope that you understand. Thank you, class. Have a nice day.